Okay. So what's up, y'all? Man, man, I got some some fixing up to do. Painting my truck. So today what I'm gonna be doing is stripping the paint down. Not stripping the paint, but I'm sanding the, the clear off and I'm gonna fix my paint to so all the corrections I need to make. It's a lot, so I'm just gonna paint the whole truck over. You know, so a little suburban. So I'm gonna go ahead and start taking off everything so I could then I'm gonna wash it. Then I'm gonna start sanding the paint. Cause I want this shit to be as good as I can get it before I have to really like have to go to a shop if I have to go to a shop. But I think once I do this, it's gonna be good enough to it's gonna be good. I think it's gonna be real good. You know, like my first shot at doing a paint job and I see what mistakes I made. And after I do this, I think I know what I need to do. So the tools that I'm gonna start with right here, Phillips screwdriver, 10 millimeter with extension, impact gun. So that's all I'm gonna need to start with. So I'm gonna start breaking this shit down. Let's get it in. You want to wash your car first. Yeah. When I get paid, can you see me with it?
Alright, so now what I'm gonna do is take out take off all my trimmings and stuff. So let me took these damn lights out. So, take my lights out and this wire right here, this wire is for my reverse light. It go to my reverse light because it it it's the wire that powers the uh, backup camera. So if you hook one of these aftermarket backup cameras, these Android radios with the backup camera, you gotta hook that up to the reverse light. Okay. Now I was gonna take these off, but I'm gonna leave them on because I I see that I don't have to take them off. So now I'm going to just go ahead and finish taking off the rest of this shit. So these right here, you're going to get under it. Lift it up a little. Yeah, so you want to get under that. I'm trying to do this shit with one hand. But you want to get under that. And right here on the edge... You can push it up, push it up towards the top of the car like that. The shit comes up. Then you can just use your hand to just push it, push the shit out. So you take these out. See, push up like that. GM made these so simple. Whoever engineered this shit did a good ass job. Cause I tried that on my Honda CRV. It's a it's disaster area. So I gotta take these mirrors off. So for these mirrors, as y'all know, is three. 10 millimeter bolts that you have to take off as far as this clip pop this clip out right here take the clip out well not not the clip but the wire harness get my drill so well not my drill but my impact gun If I'm doing this with one hand, it's because I'm showing y'all how easy this shit is. Now, when you're taking off mirrors, especially these kind of mirrors right here, these big ass mirrors with the double mirror, one for the blind spot, what you want to do, this last screw, you want to loosen it, but not all the way. Because that shit will fall straight to the ground. But luckily, for me, see the screw right here? It's holding it in. So if I be real careful, with one hand I'll be able to show you. Show y'all how I'm going to take this shit off. Okay. Shut up, Mutt. Oh yeah. That's wet. Okay, see? So now I just gotta tape this off when I tape the window off. 
and take off the, the uh, whatchamacallit's windshield wiper blades and shit. I'm gonna take these lights out. I'm gonna buy some new lights. These lights, no matter what I do, they just go right back foggy. I'm gonna take these out. These inserts, I'm gonna take them out. Take off the antenna up there at the top. What else I gotta do? Okay, so I'm gonna take this off. That's for like a half, 13 inch. And that's just as far as this front part. Let's set this up. So y'all can see what I'm doing. If y'all have one of these trucks, y'all already know how to take the lights out. <coughs> ah, sorry about that, Corona. <coughs> Let me take these pins out. The lights come out. Trying to do this with one hand. There you go. So that's one bulb out. That's two bulbs out. That's one light out. You see how simple they made this shit, man? Okay, so now that I took the ducks out, the lights out, I'm going to leave this in. I'm just going to tape this up real good. Plastic and tape it real good. I'm going to take that off. Um, oh, these got to come off right here. You got to take these off. So now I just got to sand it, wash it, mask it, and shoot that first coat over again. See me do.
Okay, now if you have a roof rack, it's a good idea to take that off. My roof rack is non-existent, so I gotta worry about the roof rack. I just gotta take that little antenna off. It's a piece of cake. All right, so this is what I'm working with right now. The body panels off, this shit I could tape up. I could take it off, but then I'd take the panel off, take three screws out, and do all that bullshit. So I'm just gonna mask that off real good. As far as my back license plate, forgot about that shit. Yeah, so this is a learning experience, man. You know, you do things yourself. It's a lot of trial and error. It's a lot of mistakes that you learn from. But it pays off. And one reason why I'm making these videos is I'm like I'm not a mechanic. I don't do this shit by career or trade, whatever. I do these videos because I know that it's a lot of people out there that's just like me. Really don't have the money to just go spend at a shop. Shops is too fucking expensive these days. I mean, ridiculous. And it's easy. It's easy as hell. If I can do this, y'all can do this. And you can save a hell of a lot of money, just like I am. I'm saving a hell of a lot of money, man. I spent, what, no more than $1,700? Doing my whole truck, front end, conversion, everything. $700. Just think if I would have put it in the shop and got all that done. Man, come on, y'all. It's time for us to stop getting our heads knocked up against the concrete by these shade tree mechanics. We got some good mechanics out there, some bomb ass mechanics, but they're all too expensive, huh? But anyway, you know, but yeah, so that's what I'm working with right now. I got everything off that I need to get off. This rest of the shit, the rest of the shit, I could go ahead and and tape up. So I'm a, I'm taping this. I'm gonna tape from. I got plastic, so. I'm going to put the plastic from here all the way up to the windshield like I did when I painted the car. That worked pretty good. And it's little detail that I, that I'm like, I can't stand like this right here. You see how when I sand it, the, 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 um, you know how when you sand, when you wet sand it clear, the, the, the ashy shit get all on a, man, I can't stand that. So I'm going to fix that. I'm going to clean that up. This strip right here, I'm going to make this back black. Will work good for shit like this. Like these rubber strips. Man, you buy black plastic dip. Black plastic dip, make this shit look brand new. So I'm